YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So yeah, something a little bit different today, just a bit of a talking topic, so just whatever comes to the top of my head. I've written a few things down, but the topic is going to be, why don't you own your own business? It's a question that does come up relatively um, often on the channel. People think, oh, you're a you know, good spray painter, then you know, the obvious next step is to own your own business. And there's lots of reasons why, and let's go through them. So, um, yeah, I've written a few things down on the list, but yeah, a lot of the stuff that I say, just a few bullet points, but yeah, one of the first ones is like work-life balance. So when you're a business owner, you never switch off, right? That's what I was talking to my mate about this the other day. Um, so as, as an employee, I literally cannot even remember what I'm doing half of the time until I get into work, right? I can totally switch off. I don't have to think about work at all. I don't have to answer emails. I don't have to answer phone calls. I don't have to think about when the next dollar's coming in and who wants your money, because that's the other thing in business. Everybody wants your money. Whether or not it's the rent, the power, the water, the government, the taxes, um, the employees, the, manufa uh, the paint manufacturers, the suppliers, everyone, everyone wants your money. Now, if you put your head down ass up and oh, I'm mean, look, another thing is that like a business is only ever going to be what, you're only ever gonna get out what you put into it. And if you think you're just gonna coast through and do a 40 hour week and become the next biggest panel shop, you better think again. Um, another thing is um, certainty, like uh, certainty in money, like peace of mind, knowing that you're gonna get X amount every week. When you're in business, it can be, and I have been in business before, um, and that was good, like I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm, I am glad that I did get out, to be, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, you can go for three weeks without a cent coming in, and then you might say get 10 grand all come in at once, right? Um, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna get that 10 grand either, you know? Um, yeah, that's, that's an, a, another good point. Like, you, like, I've got a kid that's in a private school, and about a year ago, a guy that I work with wanted, he was trying to get me to um, start a business up with him. And it was around the time I was putting my kid into school. And I just thought, man, like, I need, I need to know how much money I'm gonna have every week, you know, so I can budget for things. Um, and yeah, that was a big part of the reason that I chose not to. Um, the, other, the other side of it is, um, I actually have a, a very different perspective when it comes to work than I think most people. I've, I, I come to work for myself. I, I already work for myself. Like you think about it, look at it, this is the way I look at it. You can look at it, everything from many different angles. You can say, oh, I work for the big boss, whoever his name is, right? I work for the boss. I don't work for him, I work for me. I've never woken up in the morning and thinking, I'm gonna go in and make my boss rich. I'm gonna, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I've got a mortgage that I wanna pay off. I've got a house that I've got, a, a roof I've gotta put over the head. I've got food that I've gotta fill the fridge with. I'm going to work for me, you know? And the other side of it is, I also look at it this way, the better I make myself as an employee, the more my worth is. You know, a lot of people, they will say, um, that, that, like the, their idea of a, like the best day, a good day, is getting away with doing less. To me, that's, that makes a day drag out and it's boring. I really don't like that. Um, today's a good example. So what are we doing? We've got this um, full race brain here. And look, I haven't done all the all of the prep work. I've gone over it, obviously checked all the edges, make sure I'm happy with it. But this is going to get painted today. It's about lunchtime now. So I'm actually on my lunch break, but I've already got the doors done. They're out there. You can't really see them that well. Um, and then we've got the bonnet and tailgate, and I'm going to try and get them at least into primer just to seal them down. To me, that's a good day, like a full respray done on a large car, and that's bare metal, including the roof. I've already done the roof as well. Like that's a good day. Um, whereas like I say a lot of people and yeah and, and having that mindset of like enjoying getting lots of work done that that makes you worth more so when you do turn around to your boss and say hey um, I want a pay rise and I'm worth it 
or I'm leaving for this other shop who is going to pay me more, he'd be stupid to get rid of you if you are that kind of a guy that always puts in at least 80%. You know, I'm not expecting everyone to be running around all day. Um, but yeah, like uh, I do enjoy sort of putting in as much effort as I can. Um, I'm actually a very high energy person, so I don't, I actually don't mind sort of getting in and just go, go, go. Like that's just my nature. But yeah, holidays. Um, yeah, just, just being able to say, hey, um, at Christmas, I'm gonna take three weeks off and again, can totally switch off. Good luck doing that when you're a business owner. So my boss here, he, he has like multiple other businesses. He has 200 employees, right? And I think I did some rough maths and correct me if I'm wrong, please do. I, a while ago I did some rough maths and I'm like, every one public holiday, he has to come up with 8,000 hours of um, pay. So if every public holiday that, you know, he's hold, the, whole, the whole state shuts down, right? He has to come up with 8,000 hours. That's on top of the four weeks holiday everybody's got. Um, so, you know, like a lot of people might look at, you know, the wealthy business owners and be jealous of them. I'm not. And that comes into the next one, which is freedom. Who's really free? Like, one of my mates sent me this meme a while ago. And, and he said, remember, money isn't the goal. Freedom is. The freedom to be able to do what you want and when you want and say not have to work if you don't want to. I'm I'm kind of actually there at the moment, right? Um, I can basically just turn around and tell any boss to shove it. I'm not getting treated like shit on the daily. I'm not what well, I'm not coming here working my ass off and I haven't worked my ass off for the last 25 years and invested, you know, relatively wisely. I'm not the most wealthy type guy, don't get me wrong, but I've come from nothing, you know, come from a working class family. Um, but, um, yeah, like that's, that's it. Like the freedom that I have to, you know, I, I've got something that I can fall back on. Right. And I've built that over the years. Um, rather than having like some, sometimes owning all these things, they can own you. You know what I mean? Like uh, after a certain point, that's, that's, I don't know, from my perspective anyway, I actually kind of like that work life balance of just being able to do a 38, 40 hour week. Um, and in saying that, like I, I actually um, needed to take a couple of hours off here and there a few months ago, um, and my boss said, "Look, just make the make the time up. Come in at seven because I've got the key." Um, and I just got into the habit of coming in at seven, and I thought, "Look, I'll get a few credits in the bank." And I just, I've been coming, and, and I'm, I'm happy at work. You know what I mean? Um, I'm at the moment where we're not like we don't we're not in each other's pockets, but we don't have anything against each other. Us, me, and the other work uh, employees. It's a very uh, professional relationship that we've got. Um, yeah, we just come to work, do the work. We'll talk when we need to talk, but generally it's just about work. We don't, we don't, um, yeah, I, like, that's another thing that I've noticed is the closer you'll get, that's generally when the further you'll get apart. Like when you get really too close to some people, um, that's when you'll sort of have the big fights and that. So um, these days I do generally like to keep um, work relationships relatively professional. Um, and you can see why I'm happy being an employee. And another thing is like, if you're good at what you do, you can, especially these days, like not many people want to work anymore. Um, you can demand a good wage, but it does sort of seem like here in Australia, at the very least, our government taxes the worker way too much, you know, and, and that will get me on into another whole political rant, which I'll probably go on for for hours so I probably won't get too deep into that but it really does piss me off and it is actually getting harder for the average everyday um, working Aussie to get ahead or even own a house when the government lets in 800,000 people in one year and as far as I'm concerned they could be English, they could be Scandinavian, they could be white as it's not a race thing it's a sheer numbers thing when you've only got X amount of houses um, and yeah the boomers aren't going to complain because you know the price of their 10th investment property is going through the roof and the rents are going up through the roof. So they're sitting there, oh, I want a big Australia. Whereas their, their children and grandchildren are being doomed to renting and just getting by for their whole life. So <laughs> screw you government and screw you to the old boomers who are voting for that government too. And I know they're not all that bad, but 
too many of them are, and they're living in their own world. I like spray painting, I mentioned that before. Like, I actually really like spray painting. Like I say, I'm a high energy type person. I just love getting in there and sort of, you know, painting shit, right? You won't just be painting when you own your own business, especially at the start, you know? You may get to the point where you can sort of, you know, either hire a manager or whatever, but this is my love, you know, painting, just painting shit. Like, that's why I made a channel around it, teaching people how to paint shit. But, um, yeah, even when I was in, like, I, I don't, I get nothing, nothing at all out of book work. I get nothing out of sitting behind a computer for two hours um, trying to figure out how to use that accounting software, you know? Like, I don't mind making videos. There's certain things I do like doing behind the computer, don't get me wrong, but, um, yeah, when it comes to work, it's just, yeah, like, I, I don't enjoy making phone calls to people. I'm not one to put up with, with shit off people either. Um, and you do, you get lots of time wasters, like, you know, um, you might, you might spend two hours every evening going through emails, people calling you, you know, you'll spend an hour and a half on the phone for a potential customer who ends up taking it elsewhere, you know what I mean? And you can't blame them for that, they're just doing their, um, their homework on the best place to take their car, but it's all that unpaid work and doing stuff that you don't really want to do, like, hey, I would much prefer chill out play video games with my kid and enjoy my life you know in my own time so that's just another really important thing you don't necessarily just get to do what you want to do when you go to work and like I say yeah being also being able to switch off and play that video game with my kid like there was one time that I was really close to um, uh, buying a workshop and I, I pulled the pin right at the last minute right um, and I can, I, I'll be honest, like, I came to tears. It was the realisation that just being able to switch off with your kid and just focus just on what you're doing with your kid, just playing, like, playing with your kid, you know? Like, you can't put a price on that, you know what I mean? Like, that is invaluable. And I nearly lost that. That's why I shed a tear. I'm like, I came so close to not being able to completely switch off and just play with my kid and enjoy those years when they're young. I really want to ha hammer that one home. I'm not trying to scare anyone off. You do you. If you're, like I would always encourage someone to get into business. But another one is, one of my friends over there in Adelaide, a good friend of mine, he just shut his business down because it was getting too financially difficult for him. And again, the government is not exactly helping us, you know. They make it way too hard to, to do business, especially small business here in Australia. Um, and he went to some dark places, you know. You, you think you've had it bad, man. You try, yeah, you try feeding, you know, well, he's got, what, four kids and a wife to feed, you know, roof to put over the head. Um, and everything's just crumbling around you and you're doing everything you can. You're getting up early, you're coming home late, like, never truly switching off. Like, that's why I don't have my own business and I'm happy. And again, like I say, if you're good at what you do, you should be able to command very good dollars in um, somebody else's shop, you know. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. See you in the next one. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further, you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits. So they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it. There's also hats, drink coolers, hoodies and t-shirts. So be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested.